Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So at the end of the last episode I basically said I need to make a refinery in order to complete some of these quests. And to be honest with you I didn't think this quest line was appropriate at the moment but it looks to me as though it's the key one to be doing after we've done Moon Trance. So let's have a quick look at what we had to do. So we've got quests and then we've got stars align and we're basically doing this one. So we need to make a refinery and we'll get a, re a reward for that. So let's make a refinery. So the refinery we needed was basically 32 um, plates. Let's have a look. What else we got? 32 plates, 10 blocks of redstone and one redstone reception core. So that's what we've got. So that should be enough now to make a um, refinery. So let's put those into here. And then I can click the refinery button and turn off ender pearls. I should probably leave ender pearls off as it happens. For at least for a time being, so we get that. So that's very fine. We've got that nicely done now. In fact, actually I'll put the ender pearls back on again. I'll just check that we've got enough power downstairs. In fact, let's put those there. We're not we're not using up all the power because this is going to use up the power fairly quickly. Oh we're fine. So I'll let those ender pearls run through. So now we've got that quest completed, let's have a look at it, detect it, All right? we can claim the loot chest. So let's go and have a look at what we've got in this loot chest. Ah, fantastic, some more um, glass cable, import buses and export buses. Just one of each, but that's, that's not bad, nice. I must say I'm quite impressed with the, the rewards we get in here, that's pretty good stuff. Um, these two, and cable. I'll oh, put that in there as well. Oh, so we got a nice, nice stack of cable now anyway. So the next quest, let's have a look at that. Should have opened some more quests up for us. So done that one. So now we've got two more done. Oh, we've actually got three. Fantastic. Give me fuel. So we need a field fuel canister. That shouldn't be too difficult. And the other one is to have a nine rocket launch pads. Now if I remember remember rightly the launch pads are fairly straightforward because we've got some plates and I think it needed some heavy duty plates to make the launch pad so let's have a look at what we've got to do to do that so um, canister we needed to make a canister and a fuel canister so refinery we've done waste stones we've done so let's have a look for fuel canister like this and so we will need to make an empty can canister Ah, so it's 32 tin ore in a assembly table will make an empty canister. Very easy. We have absolutely stacks of this, so just half a stack of that. And we'll go and put those into the assembly table here and click that on so we get the empty canister being made. It also makes the other bits for the pit. Yes, we've done that before as well. And we should be able to fill that up very easily as well because we've got a, um, a tank of fuel already prepared from earlier when well, I did it at out of sequence but never mind so the next thing is to make the um, the platform wasn't it so what do we need for the platform launch pad we won't have a launch pad and I have to look it up in here this one so that's 64 steel plates and one heavy duty plate will make nine that's perfect so we can do that also very easily so all this sort of grind I've done before to make this stuff is now starting to pay off as you can see so we've got 64 plates here and one heavy duty plate which we've already got in there we just need to convert those to being steel of the right type I suppose being refined iron so then we've got our fuel canister which we hopefully can fill up and we need one of these plates and then we can put those two into here and we should be able to make look that's a buggy refueling pad launch pad so we'll let that go through and we'll go and fill up this tank see if that works i'm hoping it will do because we've got ah i moved it somewhere else like put it into my inventory i think nope what did i do with it i probably put it somewhere sensible well hopefully i did oops wrong missed here we go so we can put this down somewhere nice let's put it just down here it'll be fine and then we should be able to put this fuel canister into this and it gets filled up fantastic 
So with that, we can then go and claim that reward. That was the one we've done as well. So this one here, detect submit. Ah, this is great, got that one. Now we got the loot chest. Let's have a look what we got for the loot chest. And we got uh, an ME fluid interface. Well, that's a new one. I haven't got one of those yet. So there we are. So we're doing all right with our A2 stuff. We're getting some good rewards. And so look, has it been done? We've got the next one. Let's claim this reward as well. We're doing pretty good on these quests. It's been a long time since I did any quests, and all of a sudden I'm getting them all done. So claim the reward. Another loot chest done. And then that opens up. Ah, Harnesh, uh, well, I'm hat yet clapped. <laughs> so that means we've got to get a rocket. Let's have a look. We've got to build a tier 2 rocket. And we will get 20 XP plus 10 reputation, which doesn't help me very much. Okay, I have an ancient alien station and an artificial intelligence, but it seems that my travel options are quite limited. Let's build something archaic to get to Mars. Okay. And at the rocket. So, what have we got in this loot chest? We've got six cryogenic cryo stabilized flux duct. Aha! Uh -huh. Do you know, I'm not sure what these are all for. Let's have a look. There was also a quest for that as well, if I remember rightly. So, let's turn that one and let's go. Which one was it now? I think that was probably improvements. Here we go. What have we got to make here? Ten. All right, so we just have to make another four of these cryostabilized flux dots and get another uh, limit. What's it say? We reach the sky. No valley is too deep. No mountain too high. Well, these little cables can transfer an um, unlimited amount of RF. You will definitely need them in this pack. Okay, good. I just have to find out where we need them. In fact, our rocket. Let's have a look. How are we doing with our rocket stuff? This is the input chest, and I'm basically taking stuff out of here, and it only takes the bottom half of the chest, and then it's putting them into here. Uh, let's just sort this chest. I got, I made 64 iron plates, and probably that was a bit over the top, but never mind. So at the moment, until I've got another 64 of these, we can't carry on. So it's almost like one row of plates is what I need. So let's just put those here like that and then fill up these so these will be taken well after all the bronze has been done and before the refined iron has been done which i've got more than i need here let's just put this one here and then we can move that across as, as time is required so let's put this other stuff away and i think what i'd like to do now is to make those cryogenic flux because i think we can do that and get that reward as well so we've got those We've got two waste stations, so we've got our refinery plus, we've got our standard refinery. We've got a fuel loader. Uh, I've got a trash can, which I'll, I do need, and I still haven't moved the stuff downstairs, I do apologise. And our fuel tank, and we've got our cryogenic stabilisers. So let's take one of those and we can use that as a, as a reference for, for the recipes, can't we? And I've got all this water, which I still haven't moved. But that's... Oops, wrong. It's yes, the right place. So you've got them in there, and this should be in here. Stack that out of there. And then we'll put those over here and put them away. And then we'll get on with doing the next bit of the quest, which I'd like to do. And that's to make a cryogenic stable, this one. So let's have a look at the recipe for that. Well, some of the rewards, which you've just got, I think those five there, I like in a box reward. So, we need jellied cryothium. Well, I've already done that. But we also need a cryostabilized flux duct empty, which is made from electrum, four electrum, and four fused or hardened quartz with one redstone energy cable. So we basically need to make four of these. So that's another... That'll make six. Fantastic. So we need basically, I think that was four, four, sixteen, eighteen electrum plus about the same hardened glass or well, 17 i think if my arithmetic's working at all so electrum actually that's probably in here isn't it let's have a look what have i got in here got those diamonds from decomposing that stuff what have i got in here 
platinum steel. Yes, that was for making. What was that for making? That's for making. Uh, uh, yes, that was for making Enderium blend, wasn't it? So let's get the book out of here and find the recipe for Electrum, which is this one here. So it's eight of gold and eight of silver. So let's put that into here like that. And let's get some oh, silver in here already, but gold, I think that's silver, yes. So we need some gold and some silver. Now, that's going to basically mean two ingots. Let's take half, let's take half a dozen of each, as it were. Well, not maybe more. Let's take 32 of those, and let's take some gold. And 32 of those. I've actually got plenty of both, haven't I? And I'm going to decompose these two when I can get in, of course. So we'll do the gold first. Now let's put some of those into here to start with, and then we can actually start this process going. As you can see, it's taking the silver from here. Fill up these four. I've already got eight ingots, which is great. And now it's starting to do the silver. So let's just fill these up. Keep filling it up. And as you see, the silver's moved across over here. Let's just move those out of the way. That was killed. In. Right, okay, fine. So we, then we can put four silver in here as well. So we've got in here is that one. I really would like to just make all of this, which will make us 64 ingots of electrum, which is a which is a reasonable amount. So let's put the silver in here. A U. Oh, sorry, I'm doing the wrong one. Silver, never mind. In fact, we can actually shift click these out if they be faster. I actually don't know why that is in fact so slow. Yes, that's right, we got those two and a half stacks of that from the previous one. So we have our 64, we'll take these diamonds out of here and the rubber for that matter. We'll take it all out. And we're sure. Start to see what we can do in terms of making our thing. So, right, let's go back. So, we need now some flux duct. So, let's launch. We don't need that anymore. We don't need the canister. We've done those two. Flux duct is a good one. So, we need some flux plated. We need an empty redstone flux duct. Leadstone, redstone energy empty this one here so with a bit of luck we can make oh we've got six of those already so i'm not sure how much hardened glass we've got so let's just check what glass 20 that should be enough for what we need to do today or at least for this recipe so we need to fill these up with redstone so we need to basically which is a good exercise as well i like that one i'll take a stack of redstone i think that's more than we need but we can soon sort that out. So along, I'm going to come along here and I'm going to basically take this magna crucible here and this. And what I'm going to do with the magna crucible is I'm going to select, uh, turn off the input side here like that. And then that's not going to get any more in it, but it's going to carry on processing what we've got. And on this side here, I'm going to say this is going to be um, an output. So we should be able to get stuff coming in here. So at the moment, there's no connections at all, except for on the top where it's where it's an output. So I want to turn that. Oh, actually, that's the yellow one, isn't it? I think. Nope. I turn this one off. Just shift click it, and it turns it off. If I just shift click, if you shift click that middle one, or shift click that middle one, it turns everything off anyway. So how are we doing in here? So that's now empty completely empty so we shift click this and that turns it everything off we'll put in a redstone in here and that gives me 100 
and I think we need 600 if I'm not mistaken so let's now get this to be pushed out of here and come into here on this side here so we've got our redstone so then we should be able to put these energy empty ones in here and then just add some more and I think each one of those takes that so we need 59 of these which is oh, I suppose 29 plus 30 so if we take off four that's our 59 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in five to make sure that I've got my calculations correct oh they probably haven't actually let's just double check it oh that made three okay wrong so let's just put in another one so I've got 100 in here and another one so that makes two so then we just need four and that should then be enough to actually fill these in so we now got our six and nothing in here that's what we want okay good so the next thing we need to make the empty cryogenic cables so let's put let's have a look at that the recipe for that one again in fact the empty one is here isn't it empty so we should be able to make four of these if i put in like that what do we get one well i'm not didn't put the electrum in let's put the electrum in i'll do that again So we now got our four empty. So what we now need to do is to fill these with jellied cryotheum. So I'm not sure how much cryotheum we require for that. So let's have a look at the recipe for this again. So we need 500 millibuckets. I could have done this first of all. So jellied cryotheum is made from cryotheum dust. And the one produces two, so we basically need two for each. So we need two buckets worth, so we need um, eight of these okay good let's have a look have i got any in stock by the way dust i've got two in stock that means we've got four and we've run out of something what did we run out of ha uh ha -huh. oh we need some more potassium nitrate Let's go and make some potassium nitrate. Now that's not something I've made for a while. In fact, while we're doing that, let's just prove that everything's working as I expect it to work. So come along here. We don't need to change any of this, so we can put those into here. We should get our jellied cryotheum coming through here. And we should have about one and a half buckets we do, perfect. So if I now put these into here, we should end up with one and a half, three of these filled, I think it looks like we are yes so now let's make the other ni potassium nitrate uh, I've actually forgotten the recipe for that so we'll need some potassium potassium I think is that's platinum just a straightforward P that's phosphorus let me have a look let me go back to here and do that again get a cryotheum this one what is it? KNO3. Right, is it two different things or is it just a. Yes, obviously you can decompose it. Alright, so we need some potassium, nitrogen, and three oxygen. You know, I forgot where we get potassium from. Chemical decomposer, probably. Just some hydroxide. Anything in special that we can do. Well, maybe I've got these already. Roast chicken. Okay. Or potatoes. 40% chance. Okay. Maybe I'd use stuck potatoes. Let's have a look what we've got in here to start with. Nitrogen dioxide, nitrate. Let's have a look. If we've got anything got potassium. If we can type potassium double click that 
Potassium chromate. Well, we can use that. I don't think I want to use that. I want to go and make some more. So let's go and make some more. So potatoes. Let's turn this off. We've got plenty of chickens, actually. We've got 642, and we've got a 40% chance that should give us plenty of potassium. Got to find a use for potatoes, after all. Mm. Yeah, plenty of potassium, that's great. So potassium nitrate, so we need some nitrogen, and it should be in here, I think. Yes, we've got 64 nitrogen, and nitrate oxygen isn't it one two three let's do that so that's finished we can take this out of the recipe book now so we need potassium one potassium one nitrogen and three oxygen and that'll make us our potassium nitrate fantastic we got 25 now and there'll be some more in here and one not a lot is it and we can put the other 54 into here. And what have we got? Water. Okay, good. And cellulose. Also good. So potatoes are pretty good to actually do anyway. So I'll let that tick through. And it'll make the rest of those for us. In the meantime, we can carry along here. Come along here and make finish this off. And we just needed two more, didn't we? So... There should be just one left, so let's put those two into there. Have I? Oh, no, that's right, I did it. I was just wondering whether I got one or six. I think I got six. No. So now we have our ten. So now we can go back here, and we can detect, submit that, claim that reward, and done. And let's have a look what we've got in this loot chest. Oh, yeah. New chest is number three. And we got some more energy cells and some more crafting storage for 64k. Fantastic. Okay, good. I'll just craft these diamonds into ordinary diamonds. I think I can do it that way. Oh, yeah, you can't do it the other way around, which is a bit of a pain. I think we have to compress those, by the way. I think there's a missing recipe for that. So, so that's that quest completed what else do we have to do now rockets doesn't it so we're basically we're just going on to the process of making a rocket so what have we got in here now I've got plenty of well the bronze is coming along very slowly I wonder if I can speed it up a bit to make a few more plates I don't think I can to be honest with you I think I just got to be patient and I don't like being patient Especially for this thing. Metal form, let's put over there. Let's take a couple of these out. Let's take this one out of here and force it through here. Like that. And then we should have some plates coming through, I think. It's blocked. Left click. Do we have to use for that? Is it right click on this one? Yes. And that just got blocked with some ordinary bronze, so let's just put that back in again. And we can bring these down, actually. Oh, these wanted to be done as plates, didn't they? I think that was what I left those up for. So we should now have some bronze plates in here. We should have nearly enough. Yeah, 62 plus 1, that's good. Some more of these. Uh, one each of these. And that's enough to make a heavy-duty plate. Wow. Let's put those into here. And then we've got this recipe. We can tick off these. Of course, we don't need to run these at the moment. And it's finished all that ender, ender powder, or whatever it's called. What's it called? Ender pearl powder. Actually, it wasn't a bad guess. So we've got, we only got 42 of those. Now we've got five. They actually go through quite fast. So let's take everything out of here. I'm just wondering... I don't want to make more coolant cells. I can do, of course, but it's a 
be honest with you, it's a bit of a pain. Did I? I didn't save that recipe for potassium nitrate, did I? Oh, we, I'll tell you what we can do. I think we've got some more. So let's go and do that. I think that was in the book I had in the machine before I broke the machine. So we've got potassium nitrate. It'll be down here. 38. Let me put another one in here like that. And we've got them. Let me have the recipe stored. And I still can't walk through doors. I really can have to get my mouse under control, aren't I? Right. So we've got some redstone energy flux duct as well. Okay. So now what? Oh, this is still working away nicely. I think I should get this to carry on doing the ores. So what I basically need to do now is to come and reset this back as it was. So the input is on the left and the output is on the top. So we just basically shift click this. So I have this as an input and then the output can go at the top like that. And it's not too bad. I think that's probably the best way of doing this, don't you? So let's have a look. I've got another stack of those and I'm just going to have to be patient with this. It's going to drive me crazy. I have to be honest with you. Let's do it like that. Because there's nothing I can do. It's just slow. I've got plenty of that. Oh, plenty of that's tin, isn't it? Take the tin out of there. Let's take the aluminium out of here and put the aluminium into here. At least get that ready for the next next bit of plating. So I, Anyway, we'll, we'll see what we can do with a rocket. We could probably make some components of the rocket anyway. Except for getting the doors. I do need some more circuits, if I remember rightly. So, tin ingots. Let's put those away. And the redstone. We don't need that. So, let's have a look. Rocket level 2. So, we don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. We've done both those two quests. Can I... Maybe I can type it like this. Ooh. Rocket. And there we go. So, a nose cone. So, we basically need one heavy and one of those. And maybe we can do this. But I've got a feeling we can't do this yet because we haven't got a heavy duty plate. But let's just. And that was in the assembly table, wasn't it? Heavy. Oh, we've got one of each of those, yes. And we needed 32. Was it 64 or 32? Let's have a look. 32 refined iron plates. I can do that, no problem. Do you know what? This is nonsense. I, I'm wasting a lot of time doing this. Let's just do it like this. I'm going to take this off here and going to feed this into here. We've got the bits now. We've got an import cable. We can do the what we want to with that. So let's do that because that's going to make life a lot easier. So, but first of all, I'm going to make the nose cone. So one of those one of those or one of those and we can make the nose cone like that wow that was fast right one nose cone what am I going to do with this stuff I think I probably got enough space in here let's put it in here to start with let's move it up to there so one nose cone I wanted to do something else oh yes that's right Let's get these bits out. So we need an import bus. Got nine of those, no big deal. And we've got some cables here like that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this block here altogether. Like that. I'm going to put onto this the import bus here. And I'm going to connect that into this with one cable, I think. So now it's going to import everything out of here directly. And then we can come with these items in here. Uh, let's do it like this. And let's bring those over here and we'll feed them into the system directly. Throw this. Like that. And come back again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a slight change. Oops, too far. To this connectivity here because this is working just fine but it's not ideal I 
and I'm sure some, some of you are shouting at me to do what I've just done, so not quite fast enough now it is, huh? So what we can now do, of course, that's empty. We can take this here now, take the, take this, and then we can connect these back up again like that. Oops, which way is that one? There? Yep. And then we can take this off here like this and put these two. One's harder than the other one, isn't it? I didn't realise that. Put those two on here like this. Turn them on. And then take these out. So what do we want next? We're still doing these plates, aren't we? Then it doesn't matter where we put these into here now. These are all going to get processed. Just wondering if I've got enough of those. Yep, we want to do all of the ingots definitely, and some of the plates, but not all of the plates. So, uh huh. I need to just tell this not to connect into there, and it's not going to stop. It's going to go out the top. It shouldn't have been going in here anyway, should it? That's a bit strange. I'm not sure why those bronze, bronze plates were coming out into here. Let's just double check this. Yep, yeah, that's working just fine. Let's put those in there, and then come along here and put these in. And then it should be just happy and hunky-dory, as it were. So when they can remove this chest now. Where's my axe? And I think that's a bit, that's probably a bit nicer because we have more control over what's going on anyway. So, with a bit of those things will get processed over time and we will be ready for our next business. I'm just wondering if I need more than one fuel canister, to be honest with you. We could do another fuel, can an empty canister, that's not going to be too expensive. That's 32. It's about 24 ingots, I think this is actually equivalent to Oops, wrong one. Right, and those cones done. And this we can turn on again. So what we do need, of course, is some more insulated copper cables. Turn that off. So let's do that. So we've, we've got plenty of rubber in the system now. And basically, I've got 36 cables here and how much rubber have I got 157 so half a stack of that plus another four should be enough to do this and I'll need to take what did I just do I'm gonna do that didn't I could do that huh. turn the chest around of course as I always do so what we now need to do is um, what do we need to do? Let's take that out of put that back. Don't need that. We want these refractory fluid cases here. So it's in here, the rubber doesn't it? The rubber goes in here. Can't click that? Okay. Have to use an empty hand to click that. So we need let's put these 36 into here and turn it on. And that'll give us lots of rubber let's put the let's put these we can't do it shift to click into here but put those into there that that it then fills up these nicely let's come along here we're still doing tin ingots let's just turn that off for the time being and let's shift into this i can let this carry on for a bit but i don't want to let's just shift that into there and then turn this on to empty it out so there should be nothing in here now. Oh, not quite enough, not quite long enough. Just another second or so. Now it's empty. So I now can put these wires into here, like that, with some rubber. And we can make some more cables. Let me take this one out of here, put this one in here, let's fill it up. We can turn this off now because we've melted everything. And we can come along here and we can put that into here. That will feed into here make us lots of cables which are being pulled into the system so that one's now empty let's swap them over because it'll bound to be full 
can't do it like that. I have to shift to click it out. And I still can't do it. It's a shame that it doesn't shift click into its place. We'd like, we'd save a bit of time. Put that into here. Empty. And repeat this process. Empty, good. And that should be exactly enough for what we need to make these last 18 cables. Empty, good. They stack up nicely. So now we've got plenty of insulated copper cables, just another seven to go. So let's go and get those. Is I think it's actually the engine that we need those for. Let's just double check that. It's this component. So we need 64 electronic circuits. So, and f a lot of basic. So that's what cables. 18. I'm just hoping I've got enough. Because it uses three. So that'll make another six, 12. So that'll make another 12 circuits here. And we've got, oh, I don't know how many we've got. Let's go have a look. Forty-two. That's sixty-four. Uh, no, that's fifty-four. That's not enough. We need another ten. So we need another fifteen cables. Oh wow. Okay, let's get some copper out of here. I hope that's correct. Fifteen. Let's just split that into two. Put that back in there. Put one more back. So basically, that'll make. Oh, hold on. That's only five, isn't it? I think it just means. Do this. I think each one of these makes three wires, so we need another three of these. That's not such a big deal. I think that's the case. I can interrupt this. Um, how? Let's just interrupt this by right-clicking that there. That should stop it. Get nothing else into here. Good. So let's go to extruding and put in five of these. I'm hoping to see three. Yes, we are. So we're going to get 15 cables out of that. Let's go back to rolling and put these back in again and then right click this one. See it's actually got locked. I don't think I can even right click it, can I? I have to get to the right end, which I might be able to just reach. Nope. Oh, come on. Right, I should right click it. And put it down again. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? I got eight stuck in there, and then, yeah, that's fine. That's correct, I think, and then this comes down like that. Turn it on. Twenty-three, twenty-seven. Good. That's working just fine. Unfortunately, it's difficult to count because this tells you numbers, not in stacks. So, if we, I don't think there's a way to find out that in stacks. So, we've got now enough wires, so 15 wires. So, we need some rubber. We need 15 rubber. If I take half a deck, put it into three. Like that. That'll do for those. And let's go back and melt those. These circuits are just very expensive anyway. So let's just melt the rubber. Turn it on again, of course. Put the into here. I'm not sure exactly how many it takes as well. We'll soon find out. About a thousand's about. I'm not going to calculate it. It's too too much for my head at the moment. My head won't be able to cope with that. Let's put those into the shift click that like that. That works just fine. Oops, I've just run out of oxygen. I've been talking too much, haven't I? Let's get some oxygen out of there. I definitely have been talking too much. It's 39 minutes now. So I'll say bye for now and I'll see you next time where we'll finish this off and see how far we can get along 
with the plates to make this rocket. So until then, bye for now.